hello everybody um I know this is very different I wanted to do something different I want to do like a little series I guess on my channel and it's basically organizing my entire apartment with you guys and the first thing we're gonna tackle the pantry now this is probably the worst thing in my apartment and I really have been wanting to organize it and fix it you have no idea guys I am dying to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you it. I'm gonna show you the whole process, stuff that I buy and everything. We are gonna keep this very, very affordable. And yeah, that's it. Let's go ahead and show you the pantry. It's bad, guys, it's bad. Please don't judge me, please. Don't judge me. This top part of the pantry, and it's the smaller part. This is where I keep my cereal, my styrofoam plates, because you know what? Ain't nobody got time to wash dishes when you can just buy styrofoam plates. And this is where I keep mostly extras and cereal and like snacks and stuff like that. I really do want to fix it. Um, and now the bottom part, I don't even want to show you. It's really dark in here, guys, so bear with me. And right here on the sides, I actually have my measuring cups and everything. As you can see, I have all my little measuring stuff. So right here, this first top is basically where I keep all my appliances. This is my kitchen and mixer. I usually have my microwave, not my microwave, my blender stuff right there, but I actually have it on the counter right now. And that is actually where my sister put her stuff when she was trying to be healthy. Um, it didn't really work out, so we're gonna have to get rid of all that junk. Down here is where I usually have my maruchas. My rice is all the way back there, and this is where I keep like boxed goods and like my ketchup and all that good stuff down here is where I have my that right there is all my aluminum foil my baggies and whatnot and like a little bit of extra container stuff right here and then all the way at the bottom I don't think I'm gonna touch that part because that is actually where I keep my pans and my baking sheets and everything for my baking stuff <laughs> but this is really all the space I have guys that's all the pantry I get anyways I really want to fix that the pantry and everything and I think that's gonna be part one part two I think is gonna be the rest of the kitchen organization um, there's a lot more I need to do in this kitchen but I just want to show you how it looks but yeah this is the first part and so I'll see you in the next clip where I'm showing you everything I've bought and like everything starting okay bye guys okay I'm back um so far, all I've done is clear out my pantry, which this is what it looks like. Um, I'm going to take that out a bit later, but basically all that's gone. And I think I'm going to throw all that away. And that's all clear. And this is what I'm left with. Clean my dishes. Well, not that one. This is what I'm left with. All that good stuff. And all that. I'm sorry it's out of focus. You know this camera, guys. So the next time you're going to see me, um, I'm going to have already gone to the grocery store because I'm going to go ahead and buy all the groceries I need so that I can decide what kind of containers and everything I want to buy. Because I hate going in blindsided and buying more than I need or buying not as much as I need. So I'll be right back from the grocery store. Okay, I'm back guys. Um, I just got back from grocery shopping and what you're going to see is going to look like I bought a lot of junk food and like just fast cooked meals but this is typically what I have in my pantry yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything I have so this is all I have these are some pop tarts these are some maruchan do not judge me yes I eat those and yes they are delicious with some Valentina sauce I got a shit ton of candy trust me you'll understand why and then I got some back clips because I got me some chips some Pringles are back there I got me some pancake mix, I got me some Capri Suns, I got me some fr Fruit Loops, and I got me some macaroni. So that's really all I have right now. I took, I made sure to take everything out of the package so that I can go ahead and figure out what I want to do. So um, right now, all I'm going to do is go ahead and figure out how I want to set everything up, and then I'm going to go to the store, and I'll be right back to show you everything I got, prices, what store I went to, and everything. Bye! Okay, I'm back guys. Now, I want to go ahead and tell you everything I bought and how much everything cost. So I was at Big Lots as you saw. And the things that I got were these like stackable like little trays. There were bigger ones but they were colored and I didn't want colors because guess what guys? I got the okay to paint my cabinets white and I'm so excited guys. You have no idea. 
So I didn't want a funky color in there. At first I was like, you know what, it'll add a pop of color, but then at the same time, it's like, I just want it to look clean and simple. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go with the white ones. But there are some that are bigger than this. I think they're probably like one and a half times as big as this. This is probably about the size of my hand. That's about how big it is. And the next thing I got were these bins, and they come in a pack of three, and they come with lids, and these were, I believe, these were $6. Really not that expensive. I actually don't know what I'm going to use these for, but, you know, we'll see. And the ones in the bathroom section, I got those, and those were a bit pricey, I'm going to say, but not as pricey as other places may charge. And this is just this very long container that I'm going to put, like, You'll see. I just want to show you everything I got. And this was, I believe, $8. And then I got this long, bigger one to be able to fit deeper products and stuff like that. And this one was $12. So that was a bit, a bit pricey. And the next couple of things I got, which I got three of these. They're very small little jars, containers. And these were... I want to say like three dollars maybe even less what I will say is that please be careful because to make sure that you got good ones because this one came all dented and everything and that's not pretty um, there I got like three of them that were dented so make sure you get a really good one the other things I got were these big containers which are the same as the small ones but I just got it in a bigger version to be able to fit bigger stuff so that's really all I got so now I'm gonna wipe down my counters a little bit and then I'll go ahead and show you everything I'm doing but right now I'm gonna wipe down my counters and then we'll go from there So now that everything is wiped down, the next thing I'm going to do is start to put everything in its container. Okay guys, so I finally finished the top portion. So right up there, I put a bunch of extra stuff like that. All of that is the extra two bins that I had left. Those are the extra goldfish. Right there are these energy powders that I have. And back there in a the basket, I have my leftover maruchan that did not fit in the, the pan that I wanted. Right here, like I said, I have my little like tools and gadgets for the kitchen. Here is my KitchenAid. And here is my my blender and I have like a what are those called a pitcher and then I have my um, my scale back there and then I have extra plastic spoons and forks so I decided in here that um, these are going to be like continuing the whole theme in here these are like my little extra tools that I didn't want to keep in the drawers and this is like my zester my lime squisher or whatever my can opener and this is like a pineapple like tool that you use or whatever and um i did decide to put my cheese it's and goldfish right up there and look how cute it looks it looks so pretty so moving on down and everything as you can see i put my chips right here i love the way they just look right there and as you can see those pringles are just peeking out right behind you and right next to it i have in that smaller container, I have my boxed items. I have my mac and cheese, my Aunt Jemima pancake mix, and some peanut butter. 
because you know Daisy loves the peanut butter and I have right next to it I have rice because uh, I didn't have a container for it right behind it I have my kool-aid and right back here I have that a uh, basket filled with my sister's food that she had up here I didn't want to throw it away because I I don't want to throw it away without asking her so I just left it there and right here in my two stackable containers I as you can see only two fit in mine so on the top one I put the pop tarts and my fruit roll-ups and right down here I put my maruchan because it just fit perfectly right there and then right below it I have my foil and everything and right next to it I have all my condiments I have my Valentina sauce my honey ketchup syrup and other salsas and everything down there I have all of that right there I just feel like it fit better just because I don't reach for those much often and this is the stuff that I reach for the most I know it looks very cluttered but honestly as you saw before it was just a complete mess before and it this is really organized for me personally and down there I just have all of my baking equipment and everything so the last thing I want to show you is this on top of my fridge and this is where all the candy is isn't this so beautiful I put it on top of my lazy Susan that I got at Ikea I want to say it was about ten or eight dollars I'm really not sure and I just put all my candy on here and I'll just move it when I want to um, use my lazy Susan okay guys I'm exhausted I have been running around and I'm really tired but I hope you enjoyed this I am gonna do the rest of my cabinets and I will film that but right now that is all I'm really happy about my pantries Ugh, I'm so happy you have no idea I'll go ahead and show like the rest of them but yeah guys that's it thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye guys